So we've been working with the yellow grid material and we have found the formulas for a number of different shapes. We're gonna use that knowledge to help us derive area formulas with all of our iron material that we have used before for equivalents. So we're gonna start here with this triangle plate and just see how it works uh, with the formula. So we have a triangle and we have a rectangle and we want to find the formula for the area of a triangle. So let's label our pieces like we've been doing. Let's label base and height. And we have our base and height of our triangle here. And let's just see what happens when we turn that into a rectangle. So we have our base and our height of the rectangle. The base of this rectangle is the same as the base of the triangle. So when we want to find the area, we know we could multiply the base times the height of this rectangle. But the height of this rectangle is not the height of the triangle. The height of the triangle extended from here all the way to the base. So the height of this rectangle is half the height of the triangle. So to find the area of the triangle, we can take its base and multiply it by half of its height to find the area. So that's how we can use these plates to help us find area formulas. And there are a lot of other shapes that you could explore and see if you can find the formulas for the different shapes, the formulas for their area.